Hello, friends and adventurers, and welcome to Microsoft Studios on my Macintosh! <laughs> you can probably already tell by the title and thumbnail of this video, but this is, in fact, the first episode of a new Let's Play on this channel. Everyone, welcome to Sally Cat Plays Dust, an Elysian Tale. Dust is an indie action platformer of sorts. It actually originally started as an Xbox exclusive back in 2013, has since been released for PC and Macintosh. It's got achievements, it's got some options. And once I remember which buttons do what, let's just jump right in. I've got a few saves, but I will start with a new one. We've got casual, normal, tough, hardcore difficulties. Normal should be fine. Our world has fallen to fade. Its great works long since complete. Its storied civilizations long since fallen to dust. The greatest legends of Elysium, long since forgotten. What was once a land of promise has fallen to the ravages of war. And it was in this, our most desperate hour, that the greatest of Elysian tales began. The lone warrior stood against an army, slashing his way through all who opposed him. The mob stood no chance. And the soldier showed no mercy. But despite his victories, his skills, his ruthlessness, the valiant soldier would perish on this day. Not to the mob, but to a single child. Dust. Dust. And here we have Mysterious Floating Sword. <sighs> a talking sword? What are you? Yes, surprise, this game is fully voice acted! Much less work for me to do. Only that which you have summoned? Summoned? How? For what purpose? That I do not know. But we shall learn in time. Now rise and claim the blade of Ara. Stop! Stop right there! And who is she? Me? I'm Fidget, guardian of the sword. You don't look like a guardian to me. You're much too small and adorable. No offense, but aren't you a bit... well... small? For a guardian, I mean. Hey, I just look after that thing. After 200 years, nobody expects the sword to just fly off and start, you know, talking. <laughs> I'm kind of wishing somebody told me this was part of the job description. Or maybe they did, and I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah, that happens sometimes. <laughs> I can kind of relate to that. I love Fidget, by the way. I want a plushie of her. I'm sorry, I think I misheard before. You said your name was Fidget? Hey, this isn't about me. You're the one who's got my sword. How about you tell me your name? I'm... Uh... Calm yourself, Fidget. His name is Dust, and he is the one who woke me from my slumber. The sword here seems to know more about our hero than, that, than our hero does. So, Fidget, then? That's me, and you're Dust? It would seem that way, though I can't recall that name. So, what is this sword? I am the Blade of Ara, and you, Dust, are my fated sword bearer. Yes, well, that's all great and everything, but I think it's about time I got this sword back to the clan. I can't let you just leave with this sword, Fidget. Right now, it's the only thing that knows who I am. I don't even know how I got here. 
then you leave me no choice. I... I, I challenge you. <laughs> the winner gets the sword. <laughs> challenge us... You challenged us to what? A battle of wits? Swordplay? Well, uh, I... Alright, alright, you win. But don't think I'm leaving empty-handed. I'm coming with you. But, um, I really need the sword back when you're done doing, you know, whatever it is you're doing. What exactly am I doing, Ara? The answers you seek lie to the east. There is a path through the glade that leads down the mountainside. And from there you will find a village. That is your first step. Then will you give me the sword? I really need to get it back home before anyone notices it's uh, gone. Hmm. When I find out just what it is I'm supposed to do with it, it's all yours, Fidget. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Destiny is calling, apparently. So, yeah, I've got this one set up to use the numpad for basic movement. Also, when the game wants you to go to the right, let's see what's over to the left. A shiny key. And by opening left shift, we'll open up my inventory. From this screen, I can manage equipment and items. If your health is low, indicated by the green bar in the HUD, you can assign a healing item to the quick item slot and quickly use it in-game. Note the context-sensitive controls at the bottom of each screen for additional options. Yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff I can do here. I can check my character stats, inventory, map, quests, materials on hand, and stats. I might do more of that later. For now, we've got some exploring to do. In the Glade. As with any good platformer, I've got a pretty high jump here. And a destructible wall. Begin a melee combo. Ooh, hey, surprise wall meat. Mysterious wall chicken. <laughs> that is a reference to classic games like Castlevania, where you could sometimes find healing items hidden in brick walls, often in the form of a whole roast chicken for reasons. Moving on. What is it, Fidget? Well, my kind has what you'd call a sixth sense. And there's something just ahead. Ooh, something shiny. Dash acquired! Yeah, dash is basically not as much a get around quickly function as I can dodge attacks with it. I can get around sorta of quickly if I know what I'm doing. Another destructible wall. And another wall chicken! Also a note. Alright, we found a chest! Correction, we found a locked chest. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash it open! He. Have I mentioned I love Fidget? That would be unwise, Dust. These chests are protected by arcane locks from the last era, and are well beyond my capabilities. I suppose we'll need a key, then. Good thing we already have a key. And yes, these chests are protected by being in the background layer, or being interactable objects instead of enemies that I can smash. And now we can open the chest by applying a key and performing a quick time event. What all loot did we get? Revival Stone, a single-use stone that is rumored to rejuvenate the life of a fallen warrior. A second chance, if you will. Also, holy moly, that is worth a lot of gold. Health items include Mysterious Wall Chicken, Lota Nut, and Feeble Fruit. I'll go ahead and equip the Feeble Fruits for now, since 
the smallest healing item is appropriate for beginning of game when I have the smallest amount of health. Materials are collected from enemies, and sometimes chests, maybe, and can be crafted into better equipment by a blacksmith. Materials can also be sold to shops. Once, cata Once catalogued, shops will attempt to restock their inventory. Use this to your advantage when materials are scarce. I have no materials. Character screen, blah blah, skill gems, leveling up attributes. Okay, so I have health, attack, defense, fidget power, luck, and level, and no XP. So now if I hit the quick use button, I will consume a feeble fruit and heal for a whopping 20 hit points. Also, something I saw but neglected to mention, there's a little tunnel here. I have no way of getting in here. Must be another movement upgrade later. Oh, dear? Hello, dear. Bye, dear. Fidget reacts better than I ever could. Calm yourself, Fidget. Dust. Focus. Remember what you've learned thus far. No, no! Mash the buttons! No buttons! <laughs> Button mashing time! people fruits. Thanks for the free healing item, Miss Fidget. Ooh, save monument. So I've just auto-saved, and I can manually save if I want to, which I believe I will. There we go. More monsters. And you may notice at the top of the screen... A combo suggestion, basically mash the main attack button four times. It's my favorite combo because it is the easiest to remember and pull off. And it makes enemies go flying, which is always good. How dare you dodge me? Okay, also I'm doing my- I've done my best to balance the sound on this machine. Hopefully the combat sounds aren't drowning out my voice too much. Combat combos. Right. Up and up. Uh, secondary attack button. One of those. 
I'm not always good at combos. No, escape! I'm not trying to escape, I'm trying to chase this guy! Another shiny. I love you, Fidget. Please contain yourselves as I demonstrate. <laughs> that was, uh, very pretty. Hey, she managed to hit one, kinda. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll just keep the rest of my repertoire to myself. I'm sorry, Fidget. I'm sure it'll come in handy somehow. Actually, Dust, between the three of us, this could be quite useful. The dust storm can manipulate Fidget's projectile into a more powerful attack. Observe. Yeah. Wow! You just brutally shredded those guys! Oh, by the way, every time I use my power, it'll use up a bit of energy meter. You can recharge the meter with melee combos. Yes, Dust. Between your combos and Fidget's own powers, you can achieve a higher hit chain, which will yield bonus experience after each battle. However, if you are struck by an enemy, the chain will be broken, and you will lose your bonus experience. Alright, I think I understand. If this is all too much for you, you can check out the help screen via the pause menu. Thanks, Fidget. I'll take a look if I'm ever in trouble. Maybe it's just me, but sometimes I think I hear a bit of a Wilhelm scream when somebody goes off a cliff. Also, using Fidget's ability plus Dust Storm is probably the best way to rack up huge combos. And huge combos don't just give very good experience bonuses. You can also get a couple achievements for very big combos. Okay, another save point. Another save point, another mob of, mob of enemies. Oh, the undoing air throw, huh? Oh! I just pulled off a surprise parry. Yeah, some combos do feel a little weirder to pull off after the dust storm has been introduced. I should really check at some point and see what all loot I've got. I see you there, destructible wall. Ah, combo broken. Hey, you just leveled up! Hooray! Is that what I did? It feels good. Great, even. As it 
should dust. You've acquired a skill gem. Open the character screen for the inventory to upgrade your abilities and become even more powerful. I like how meanwhile all the enemies on screen have politely paused for us to have this discussion. So I can upgrade max health, attack, defense, or fidget. And yes, fit. Okay. There we go. Max health. Base attack power determines melee damage. Base defense ability decreases damage from enemies. And fidget power determines the potency of fidget's projectiles and dust storm. I'm gonna go with defense for now. Storm is a little bit less useful when there's few to no enemies on screen. Ah, sweet, another wall chicken. And very high wind that I can barely run against. But I got another key. Aha, there is one more. Yeah, so there will be some times when I get focused on the combat and don't commentate so much. Partly because of the noise and partly there's just a lot going on screen. Okay, area seems clear. Let's see what this quest flag or whatever is on about. Wow. It's really beautiful up here. Yeah. So, any idea where we are? I was maybe hoping you could tell me. Oh, silly me. I seem to have dropped all my detailed maps and navigational equipment chasing after a crazy flying sword. <laughs> Sorry I got you mixed up in this fidget. Well, you should be. Digging my sword, getting me in trouble. You know, now that I think about it, this isn't the first time I've seen this view. I've stood here before, in this very spot. Then perhaps you recognize the village at the base of these cliffs? It's hard to make out from here. We'll need to drop down to the valley floor if we want to get any closer. Very well. Proceed as you wish, Dust. Quest has been updated. Welcome to the quest log. From here we can view active and completed quests as well as any notes I've picked up. Main quest is Dust to Dust. There's a village in the distance. Perhaps it holds some answers? And before that, you've woken up in a small glade in the mountains with no memory of your past. An ancient magical blade, Ara, and its guardian, Fidget, have joined with you. With no other path to travel, the road to the east is your only option. Okay, and... No, I don't want to go to the map right now. There we go. 
and notes. Leap of faith. They chased, and I ran. Five, maybe six of them, all armed to the teeth and closing in fast. I'd made it to Archer's Pass, but with an arrow in my leg they caught up with me at that headless statue. Surrounded, desperate, and nowhere else to go, I climbed out to the hand and made a leap of faith. Hmm. Gosh, I wonder what that's talking about. Sometimes it is really obnoxious navigating in this inventory system. Treasure. In ancient times, our greatest possessions and staunchest allies were locked away using powerful magic beyond our comprehension. The only way to reclaim these lost treasures is to use the magically attuned keys strewn about our world. I only hope there is time. I only hope there is enough time to free them all. Okay. Great, great possessions and staunch allies. Interesting. Okay, and I cannot actually progress this way, so downward it is. Get back here. Does this mean I get double wall chicken? It does! I also get double key. Not a wall I can bust up with my sword. Maybe that's not a Wilhelm scream, maybe that's just a generic distressed monster sound. time I don't have to interrupt gameplay to deal with it. Possible wall here and another ability here. Aerial Dust Storm acquired. Hold D mid jump to fly through the air and target enemies from afar. I forgot I couldn't actually do that to start off with. leap from the top of this hill. Whee! Ooh, I got a blueprint. I should heal. <laughs>
Okay, Fidget says there's another treasure nearby. Aha! Another treasure chest. This wall is reinforced with a powerful alloy. Something explosive should do the trick. Also, chest. Also, this thing. Is that a tent? Is there somebody in there? Ah, whatever it is, it's got glowing evil eyes of evil. I love Fidget's voice actress too. She's great. A merchant lies in wait. Do not let his appearance frighten you. I sense he only wishes to assist in our journey. Psh, I wasn't frightened. Just surprised at the uh savings. <laughs> Come on, let's talk to him. <laughs> sure thing, but first, I need to check my inventory because I've been collecting stuff. Such as a warped pendant. Once a fine keepsake, time has distorted this pendant. It uh, gives plus two attack and plus two luck. Equip. Yeah, sure, let's... Did I need to do that? Okay, I did not push the correct button to add a skill gem. There we go. Sometimes it's easier just to navigate everything with the mouse here. So, healing items. We've picked up a new one at some point, the Tasty Cupcake. A freshly baked cupcake, carefully frosted and sprinkled. Feeble fruit is a small juicy fruit that does little for hunger. Lotanut, a heavy nut considered to be a rare, tasty delicacy. Mysterious wall chicken. Found embedded in a wall, this fully cooked and seasoned chicken comes from unknown origins. I have no armor. No weapon augments. I have a blueprint for a ring. But as I haven't met a blacksmith yet, I can't do anything with it. I really don't have a whole lot right now. Until I go to my materials screen, then I have a fair bit of stuff. Including lumber, the finest lumber in Falana. A box of iron nails. A yard of sturdy fabric. Strong carpenter's glue. A clump of fine cotton. A bottle of colored dye. Bits of malleable metal. Thread needed for sewing. An empty glass bottle with many uses. Junk! Serves no purpose. Sell it. It is very colorful. Beast spear. A primitive spear tip made of stone. Beast leather. Thick hide from a small beast. And now that I'm at a shop... I can show you what we can do with those materials. It's selling them. I've been expecting you, stranger. Why, hello there, mysterious shadowy shopkeep. Who are you? Merely a friend with many wares for sale. Shall we conduct business? I can buy things from him. I can sell things to him. One of the things I can buy that I won't just yet is a blue mushroom. A bitter aroma emanates from this mysterious mushroom. So I've got a warped pendant right now. He also has a filthy pendant. One would be hard-pressed to call this thing jewelry. Less attack and luck, but plus one defense. Simple pendant. A gift from a young man to his lover. Plus two attack, four defense, and one luck. And I can't afford it right now. Aug augments for the Blade of Ara will increase my attack. Eggshell. Sharpening your blade with this works about as well as you might imagine. Sandpaper. You wonder if this is actually dulling your blade. Dull Whetstone. This adds a slight gleam to the edge of your blade. Plus six attack. I will take that. Leaf vest. A rudimentary vest made of leaves. Not the most protect. Not the most protect. 
Not the most protective of garments, but better than nothing. Bark shirt. This stiff shirt almost feels like it's going to fall apart. Does not sound very comfortable. Cotton vest. It will protect you from the cold, but little else. That said, it's got the best defense out of all of these, and plus one luck. Simple ring? Or no, dull ring. A simple ring worth a bit of gold. Teleport stone, a single-use stone that teleports the user from a save monument to the world map. Revival stones are heckin' expensive. Keys are also heckin' expensive, but slightly less than a revival stone, at least. And ye standard materials. Now I'm going to go into sell mode and sell uh, at least one of all of these items. And when it cata when it catalogs a new material, it uh, may means that material will eventually show up in shops around the world after enough time. Which can be very valuable indeed, when materials are hard to find. And of course selling materials is a pretty decent way to get some gold. little enough stuff here that, aside from materials, that I don't want to sell any of it. So I could more easily buy one or even two dull rings now. Sure, I'll buy one, just because I have literally nothing better. maybe we wouldn't have guessed that he's not from around here because how many creatures have we seen in this world so far? There's dust, fidget, various monsters, and this guy. So yeah, how do we know what's normal yet? We don't. Ah, he'll buy them at a high price. Eh, not usually a very high price, but enough. I... well, yes. Yes, I will. The materials you've sold me will be quite useful. I'll attempt to restock them as time goes on. I also share my stock with other merchants. With our help, you will save valuable time collecting rarer materials. Thank you. Watch your back, my friend. Okay, and now let me go and actually equip my new purchases. Blueprint is for light chainmail, assembled from thousands of tiny interlocked steel rings. Much better defense, but needs materials I do not have, and in one case haven't even found yet. Okay, so the ring I have is a dull ring, and the blueprint is for a rather better smooth ring. Okay then. And I gained XP from that, apparently. <sighs> Another wall that needs something that goes boom. Ooh, 
updraft. You've discovered a bomb fruit. Use the dust storm to pluck and guide the fruit. Yeah, not only is it explosive, it also uh, flies on a little propeller there. So, thing with glowy yellow spots, meet other thing with glowy yellow spots. And somehow, I don't take any damage from that. And yeah, I'm pretty sure the game requires you to get that fruit to that wall in order to progress. Another bomb fruit. Oh, that one's on a timer. Bomb fruits do respawn pretty quickly. Oh, are there no more enemies I can blow up? Darn. Aha! Another explodable wall. But with a timed fruit, I'll need to be quick about this. So much mysterious wall chicken! Well, I think I just blowed up that slime real good. There's something in that cave! Quick, get it out! Four locks. I'll take a wild guess and say we need four keys. Oh, how about that? I actually have four keys now. I'm actually doing a little bit better than usual. Usually when I come here I only have three keys, and... That's Meat Boy from Super Meat Boy. Meat Boy, what are you doing here? I found a friend, earning a permanent 5% health bonus something something. There's a sanctuary I can find him out later. Also, there's more explodey walls, but... Okay, there's another fruit here. This one isn't even on the timer. Also, the little bunnies around here don't seem disturbed by the explosions, and I can't get in here. Yeah. Fine then, keep your secrets. So is there another explodey wall a couple screens back that I forgot about? There might be. Oh look, a blueprint for the thing I just bought. Even more enemies. This is honestly getting a little tedious. Gus, there's something up there. Not a problem at all. Stand back. All right, I've got it. Wait, no. Oh. Having some trouble there? Yeah, I don't know. I just can't get a good enough grip. Oh no, I'm in a Metroidvania! I need another skill! Aww, you're just trying to show off. That's sweet. Don't worry about it. I'm sure there's a way to get up there. We'll just come back later. Yep. Slimy guys will spike me! Unless I get pretty good with dodging. Looks like we're heading in the right direction. 
direction. Be on your guard, Dust. I sense a powerful foe ahead of you. Don't worry, Dust. I'll be behind you every step of the way. Way behind. <laughs> And now is when the game actually tells you about Perry. Allow it to strike. Hey, you dazed it! Attack and hold the button at the moment of the enemy strike, and you will parry their attack, opening them up for a counterattack. Timing is crucial, and you must be facing your opponent. And as you can see, a successful parry may also daze your opponent temporarily. Now, put this beast out of its misery. Yeah, when an enemy is dazed, they take way more damage. So, I am not great at parrying. With some practice, I've gotten a little better. Hey, a townsperson. I see somebody over there. Ask them if they've got anything to eat. We're in a bit of a hurry, Fidget. Don't worry, I'll feed you later. Hey, I'm not a pet! But, uh, I would appreciate that. Thanks. Hmm. Oh, hello! You surprised me there. Don't get many travelers this far out of town. Sorry about that. It's nice to finally meet a friendly face. So, we're getting closer to the village, then? You mean Aurora Village? Yes. It's just beyond those fields to the east. And I think you might be just in time. What do you mean? The monster attacks down there have been getting worse. Right before you showed up, I'd swear I heard somebody shouting. She's right, Dust. I can hear somebody calling for help further down the path. Let's get going. Yes, please hurry. Be careful. Hmm. I gain XP from talking to people for the first time. And as usual, they often will have an extra line if I hit the talk button again. Anyway, someone's in trouble! We gotta go help! Yeah, getting the sense that Fidget's attack is not gonna work wonders against this guy. Come on. There we go. The real secret to beating a stone giant is to get some parries off. Storm is surprisingly effective here. Oh. Ow. Oh, I'm doing quite badly. reload and redo this battle. Come on. Ah, 
ashes to ashes. Dust has fallen to his enemies. Let's try that again, but less badly this time. They always hit come on it coming on both sides of me, why not? And let's try actually healing this time. Ah, maybe not getting stomped? Is that a thing I can do, please? There we go. Okay, that was a little sloppy, but still better than the first time. Is that it? Did we get all of them? <sighs> yeah, I think that's it. Well done, Dust. You have proven yourself a worthy swordsmaster, and none too soon. Eh, good enough. Bah, they weren't so tough. I could probably take on another four or five of them. You know, if I had to. And Dust was there. Sure, Fidget. You, you, you tell yourself that. Handedly, if Dust and Fidget are working together. Hey, who are you calling weak? Eh, whatever. Dust and Fidget versus two giants is still a very lopsided battle. We're still a little shook up, but I think we'll be fine. I just need to sit here for a while. <laughs> My leg still hurts. You should get to safety when you can. I cleared out quite a few monsters on the way in. But you never know when they'll be back. Did one of those monsters hurt you? Well, I mean, not exactly. This old lug twisted his ankle running away from those monsters. Nice of you to stick around to protect your poor old wife. Hmm. I was running to get help. Yeah, lots of help in the tool shed, I'm sure. What, you got a little army hiding in there? Bwah. Maybe I should go. Oh, no, please don't get the wrong idea. I still love my husband, even if he is a coward. <laughs> it's good to love and accept your partner, even when they are flawed. Bah. Oh, by yourself. Hee. <laughs> and that is why I always make sure to talk to these people again. Where's my shovel? Don't worry about it, dear. When you feel better, you should get to safety. I'll feel better when I've got my shovel. Should I be on the lookout for some lost shovel? Oh, no, dear. He broke it running away from those monsters. I'll get him a new shovel when his leg is better. 
Yeah, see? Shovel's a perfectly good weapon against monsters sometimes. And that was the prologue. What awaits us in Aurora Village? Well, I'd love to show you in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody.